My name is Tom Harrison, and I'm the author of the new book, The Complete Family Guide to Dementia, Everything You Need to Know to Help Your Parent and Yourself. I'm a journalist with a lot of background uh, in helping family members with dementia, and my co-author is Brent Forrester, who's one of the country's top geriatric psychiatrists. Together, we present a comprehensive, compassionate guide rooted in the latest science and research and as we like to say, our goal is to help you to care smarter, not harder. The book is broken down into more than 20 short chapters that cut right to the chase and tell you everything you need to know from how to keep your parent safe at home to how to take away the car keys when that becomes necessary. Right now, I'd like to highlight three tips from chapter 12, which is how to communicate with a parent with dementia. Communicating with someone with moderate dementia is very difficult, but it's not impossible. Um, it can be done, but you can't communicate in the way you normally do. It becomes necessary to learn to use language in a slightly different way. And this is a skill, but it is a skill that with practice you can easily master. One tip is that you always want to be listening not just to words, but to feelings. Words are very difficult. It's very hard for people with dementia to articulate, to understand, um, and they often repeat themselves. Um, and the reality is that often you, you can get hung up in, in trying to understand the literal meaning of things, but the literal meaning is often not as important as the emotion being expressed. And if you can hear what your parent is expressing, are they happy, are they anxious, are they worried? Um, and you can respond to that um, with reassurance, with emotional closeness, uh, that's often going to lead to a much more satisfying interaction um, uh, and is, is also going to be less likely to create frustration on their part, which often comes out in, in difficult behaviors. A second tip is to be literal all the time. Um, any form of language that's not completely literal, sarcasm, innuendo, uh, slang, um, is very difficult for a person with dementia to process. Uh, it's much better if you can use simple, concrete language, if you can use simple sentences, um, if you can imagine how you would talk to a non-native speaker of the language. Um, also to use gestures, inflection, body language. All of these things together will help your parent to get what you're saying better. Um, and a final point has to do with questions. Um, it's fine to ask, for example, um, are you feeling happy today? That's a pretty simple question. But if you ask it, are you, how do you feel today? That's an open-ended question. That's a question that doesn't have a clear yes or no answer. And that can be much more difficult for a person with dementia to understand and to process, and it can lead them to frustration. Similarly, um, you can say, would you like to go out on the patio? You could even give two choices. Would you like the brown sweater or the blue sweater? But if you give more than two choices, or if you ask you know, an open-ended question, much harder for the person to respond to. Why questions are particularly difficult. Why did you do that? Why did that happen? Um, a why question requires the person to remember, to make connections, and then to articulate those connections. And that's often much more than a person with dementia is really able to handle. So those are a couple, three tips that, that make communication a lot easier and a lot more successful. Being a caregiver for someone with dementia is extremely difficult, um, but it can be made easier uh, if you develop the skills. And so that's our goal is to help you develop skills to communicate, to manage difficult behaviors, and to improve the quality of life for your parent and for you. And that's our goal. Thank you.